the last of the Amelia Bedelia books is Amelia Bedelia Goes Camping. Hurry up, Amelia Bedelia, called Mr. Rogers. I'm coming, I'm coming, said Amelia Bedelia. Did we get everything? asked Mr. Rogers. I would say so, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said Mr. Rogers. It's time to hit the road. Hit the road, said that, asked Amelia Bedelia. All right, she picked up a stick, and Amelia Bedelia hit the road. Stop that, shouted Mr. Rogers. Get into the car. Amelia Bedelia got into the car. I'm so excited, she said. I've never been camping. You will have fun, said Mrs. Rogers. She's hitting the road. They rode for a long time. Finally, Mr. Rogers stopped the car. Wake up, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers. This is it. Amelia Bedelia looked all around. But where is the camp, she asked. The camp is in the car, said Mr. Rogers. In the car, said Amelia Bedelia. We're going to camp in the car? The things we need to make the camp are in the car, said Mr. Rogers. Make the camp, asked Amelia Bedelia. We have to make the camp? Just forget it, said Mr. Rogers. I'll put the tent here. We can pitch it later. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Now let's have some fun, said Mr. Rogers. Let's catch some fish. I've never caught fish, said Amelia Bedelia. Is it like catching a ball? Mr. Rogers laughed. It's more fun, he said. I will show you how. Did you bring any cookies? asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I made up a new kind. Amelia Bedelia got the cookies. Chocolate, said Mr. Rogers. My favorite. He took a bite. They are so crunchy, he said. That's the potato chips, said Amelia Bedelia. I do love potato chips. I put in a whole bag. I call them chocolate chip cookies. So instead of just the chocolate chips, they're chocolate with potato chips. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers looked at each other. Call them what you like, said Mrs. Rogers. Just make them often. Bring them along and follow me, said Mr. Rogers. Let's find a good fishing spot. They walked along the bank. After a bit, Mr. Rogers stopped. He looked at the water. This looks good, he said. Amelia Bedelia stopped. I see a fish. I see one, she said. I'll catch it. Wait, said Mr. Rogers. But Mr. Rogers was too late. Amelia Bedelia was already in the water. Here, fishy. Here, fishy, she called. Then she grabbed the fish. I caught it, she yelled. What a big one, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia looked at the fish. The fish looked at Amelia Bedelia. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Away you go. The fish swam away. Amelia Bedelia, yelled Mr. Rogers. Why did you do that? Amelia, Amelia Bedelia looked surprised. Why not, she said. You just said to catch a fish. I did that. Oh, go away, said Mr. Rogers. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. I am wet. I do need to change. Amelia Bedelia started to leave. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers. Please start a fire in the grill. Use pine cones to start it, said Mr. Rogers, and put on some coffee. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. That sounds like trouble.
Amelia Bedelia walked to the car. She changed into dry clothes. Now, said Amelia Bedelia, I'll surprise Mr. Rogers. I'll pitch the tent. She walked over to the tent. Shoot, said Amelia Bedelia. I can't even lift it. Need some help, said someone. Amelia Bedelia turned around. Who are you, she asked. I'm Harry, said the one boy. I'm Mike, said the other boy. I'm Amelia Bedelia, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia, said Harry. We've heard about you. You have, said Amelia Bedelia. That's nice. Now will you help me pitch this tent? Where do you want to pitch it, asked Mike. The big thing is to pitch it, said Amelia Bedelia. It can come down where it wants to. The boys grinned at each other. Okay, let's do it, said Harry. They caught hold of the tent. They all picked it up. And they pitched that tent. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. We did it. Maybe we should pitch it again, said Mike. Why, said Amelia Bedelia. It's in the bushes, said Harry. That's a good place for it, said Amelia Bedelia. It's out of the way. I don't think that's what he had in mind when he said pitch the tent. I think Mr. Rogers wanted it put up and set up so they could go inside to sleep in it. Hey, said Mike. Mom is calling us. Thank you for helping me, said Amelia Bedelia. She watched the boys go. I had to better get that fire started, said Amelia Bedelia. She got some wood and pine cones. She put them in the grill. Live and learn, said Amelia Bedelia. I didn't know pine cones could start a fire. I want to see this. Amelia Bedelia sat down. She waited and waited, but the fire did not start. Suddenly she jumped up. The coffee, she said. I forgot to put on the coffee. She poured the coffee on the pine cones. Now it should start, she said. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers walked up. Why isn't the fire burning? Asked Mrs. Rogers. The pine cones haven't started it yet, said Amelia Bedelia. Did you try using a match? Mr. Rogers asked. You didn't tell me to do that, said Amelia Bedelia. Never mind, I'll do it, said Mr. Rogers. You put on some coffee. I did, said Amelia Bedelia. Didn't I put enough? Oh, go jump in the lake, said Mr. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia stamped her foot. I will not, she said. I have no more dry clothes. Mr. Rogers laughed. You win, he said. Can you row a boat? Certainly, said Amelia Bedelia. Use any of the boats, said Mr. Rogers. Have fun. Amelia Bedelia found the boats. I'll just use all of them, she said. She pushed the boats this way and that. The boats were rowed. I don't think that's what she had in mind. They wanted to go out on the water. I just have to show you. My dog is taking a nap. Amelia Bedelia went back to Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. That was fun, she said. What is next? I need the tent stakes, said Mr. Rogers. I'll get them, said Amelia Bedelia. She ran to the car. She brought back a package. Here, she said. Mr. Rogers opened the package. What in tarnation, he said. Didn't I cut them right, asked Amelia Bedelia. They look like tents to me. How am I 
going to pitch the tent, asked Mr. Rogers. Don't fret, said Amelia Bedelia. I pitched the tent, Mr. Rogers looked. Where is the tent? He asked. In the bushes, said Amelia Bedelia. Just where it landed. That does it, shouted Mr. Rogers. He stamped off. Mrs. Rogers went after him. Why is he so upset? asked Amelia Bedelia. I was just trying to help him. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers came back. It's all right, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers. We can sleep under the stars. I'll help you get the sleeping bag, said Mr. Rogers. I can do it, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the car. Amelia Bedelia came back slowly. She was carrying some bags. Shh, she whispered. I think they're sleeping, but how can you tell? Bags, and she thinks they're sleeping. I don't think that's what he meant. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers stared at Amelia Bedelia. Then Mrs. Rogers said, never mind, Amelia Bedelia. I'll get this camp ship shape, said Mr. Rogers. That sounds like fun, said Amelia Bedelia. What kind of ship shape will we make? You have done enough, he said. I'll do this one. Amelia Bedelia walked away. I don't know much about camping, she said, but I know one thing. It's time to eat. Amelia Bedelia bustled around. She did this and that. Finally, she had everything ready. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers called Amelia Bedelia. It's time to eat. I'm sure ready, said Mrs. Rogers. She and Mr. Rogers came. Fried chicken, stuffed eggs, said Mr. Rogers. What a feast. All three ate and ate. Now I'm stuffed, said Mr. Rogers. There's one more thing, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll go and get it. Soon she came back singing, happy birthday to you. My birthday, said Mr. Rogers. I forgot my birthday. Blow out the candles, said Mrs. Rogers, and cut the cake. Mr. Rogers did just that. Then he said, Amelia Bedelia, this is the best camping trip ever. Amelia Bedelia smiled. Let's do it again, she said. I do love camping. Have you ever been camping? Have you ever done anything like Amelia Bedelia? What's your favorite part of the book? Have a fantastic weekend, friends, and I'll see you next week for a special final week, final two weeks, I should say, of read-alouds.